What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, Lucio Boy Gym Graphics. In today's video, you all remember the funeral program we've been designing. This is the very end of the episode, alright? So, you all remember we've designed uh, multiple pages from the first page to the um, back page, page 1 to um, 10. Alright, so in today's video, we'll be designing the page 11 and page 12. So stick around to the very end of this video, alright? So after this video, I'll put, um, the next video will be the presentation, which that is where you will get the mock -up. That is the bonus I promised you guys. So I will fulfill it in the next video. All right. Cause I don't want this video to be too long. So without any further ado guys, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor guys. So basically guys. You all remember we've designed multiple pages. If you're new to this, um, if you're new to this, this whole stuff, please go and start from episode one so you understand everything we're doing here. All right. So guys, you can see we've designed multiple pages. All right. So it's all about how to design funeral program for those who are new. All right. So basically, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another page, which is the page eleven and page twelve. So to do that, um, coming back to um your plus sign and add another page so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come over to this and copy um i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy this all right Control c to copy then come over to the next page and use Control v to paste it so what you're going to do now is you're going to right click on this and remove the um that design that is all there to remove it right click and select frame type remove frame click on ok and that is it so right now guys what i'm going to do i'm going to import the images which we're going to use for this page so to do that basically go to your file and locate let me off all right i don't want the noise to be on it so um locate import shortcut is ctrl plus i all right for those of you that are big boys, our MacBook is command I. Uh, you guys are big boys. You're using MacBook. I don't have money. So right now, guys, let's locate the folder. And once we locate the folder, this is what we're going to have. So I'm going to select everything here and click on import. All right. So this is what we are going to have. All right. All right, guys. So coming over here, guys, these are the text we'll be making use of. All right. So these are the text, guys. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to bring in this background. All right. This is the background we'll be making use of. So I'm going to bring in this background and basically scale it up. All right. So once I scale it up, I'm going to go to effect, select blur, select Gaussian blur. All right. And I'm going to increase this to maybe, let's say, yeah, 80. 0.3 pixels then i want to click on ok so what i'm going to do now is i want to basically place this here and right click on the background and select um power clip inside then once you select power clip inside it's basically asking you where do you want to put me so you're going to basically um check where you want to the frame where you want to power clip then because there was a guy that actually asked me that the power clip is not working you understand you have to make it work like I can just bring something that I want to place it somewhere and I don't make, there's no action to it. You, you have to give it something to work. You know, so I don't know how to explain to you, but there's a box there, so I'm power clip it inside. If there's no box, there's no power clip. Do you understand? So there must something to, I told you guys, all these things will work hand in hand. So guys, now you're going to right click and select edit power clip to take us inside the frame so we can place this, position this properly. And once we position it, this is basically what we are going to have so i'm going to click on finish and but i'm going to take this one up a little bit so i'm going to click on finish the next thing i'm going to do is i want to basically um bring in this background and um scale it up just right here all right so once i scale it up i'm going to basically uh cut it use Control plus x for the big boys comma x that is for my book those who are using my book so i want to go in here and um use control plus v to paste it which is command v on mac 
Yeah, I want to basically scale this up. I want to use my control, I'm um, sorry, my transparency tool and basically fade out this edge this way. And I'm going to go to my image mode, same on the transparency tool on my property bar, select soft light. This is what you're going to have. So right now, I'm going to basically um, click on finish. Then I will come over to this page. All right. Then I'm going to copy this, this, um, this image. For those of you who don't know how we change it to black and white, let me basically copy the, the one that is, that is, that is colored so we can change it to black and white. You know, I'd like you guys to be understanding. I don't want you guys to be, you know, left behind. Uh -huh. So it don't make sense. So right now, guys, I'm going to reduce this. Yes, it just right here. Once I do that, I'm going to basically, um, I'm going to basically go to my bitmap, select mode, select grayscale. All right. So once I do that, I'm going to basically now, um, convert it to bitmap. Why am I converting to bitmap is because I don't want the image to be heavy. All right. Heavy. No. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to bitmap. Select on um, convert to bitmap, then resolution make sure it's on 300. You can increase it if you wish, but mine 300. So you go to um, color mode, mode and change that to RGB and click on OK. They wait for that. So right now, I go to right click and select power clip, place it into this frame. Then right click again to go into the frame. Copy this background, this one, copy it, control C for the big boys, command C. Then paste. Control V for the big boys, Command V. I will say this is again. I will say it again. I will say it again. If you hear copy and paste, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So, you understand? So right now, I will um, select Transparency 2. Then I will select my image mode and change this to um, Soft Lights. What has changed Soft Light is what you're going to have. I will just basically click on Finish. And the next thing I'm going to do is I will come over to this. Copy this. All right. I will paste this box here. It's a text box. We've created it from the beginning. For those of you who are not following, for those of you who are not following, please go and start from episode one and follow. All right. So right, I'm going to delete this one. So once I do that, I'm going to uh, drop the two using my pick two. Um, hope I'm not fast, guys. So basically, I'm going to drop this one here. And I'm going to copy this. Let me save this in case of any interruption. All right. Yes, but um, basically, guys, for those of you who are asking me why I don't put all this information for you guys, let me ask you a question. If you have, you give me a design and I put out your details out there, will you be happy about it? No. So I'm going to give you guys the backgrounds, but not the man's image or their information. All right. So if you have this, the reason for all these videos is because if you have similar jobs or you can learn to, in, and to improve yourself, you guys are making me talk too much while you're not even subscribing to my channel. I don't, I don't. Okay. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this, this, select everything, control C to copy, then control V to paste it here, then drop it and give it a white color. All right, so this is what you're going to have. So basically, guys, um, you guys might be wondering why this thing is touching the 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 image, and you'll be saying, "Okay, so for your for your case of vaccine, I can basically drag it here." But for me, I don't care. And sometimes I will drop it here. You understand? To touch the mouse, small, you know, it gives it some professional touch, you know. But we can drop it here for the sake of those axing. So right now, guys, we'll just take this one up. And uh, remember, guys, I told you guys that we are designing the biography page. So under the biography, remember what I told you guys. I know you people have eaten a bar and forget. Eating sushi, eating all those Ibo Ibo food and forget. In my class, we don't forget. You have to remember this, all right? We have, under the biography, we have beds, we have education, we have career, we have faith. So we have done we have done bet. We have done education. We have done career. So we are on, on faith. Faith actually the way of his life, religious life. You understand? You understand? So just the story about his religious life, the way he lived his life. If you guys like don't 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 
I often know. Try it now. I downloaded this feed. I needed a Corsi font. I wanted to use a Corsi font because um, I needed something classy. So I saw this online. I just typed feed on Google. So I saw this typo and I loved it. So I downloaded it as image. So some of you might be wondering, can we make use of it as image? Yes, 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 sir. We can make use of it, huh? Yes, we can make use of it. So to extract this from this background, what you're going to do is come over to your bitmap, convert it to bitmap. Okay, go to your bitmap again. Yes, if you want to go and buy something and you forget your change, you have to go back there. So right now, go to mode, then select black and white. Then what you're going to basically do is make sure your conver uh, conversion method is on um, line ads. Then um, if, if you put it on line ads, you see the before here, you see the after. So right now, guys, you see the trash hold. If you reduce this, you see the details is, is, is hiding. So the more you increase, the more the detail reveals. Ah. I'm a prophet. <laughs> uh, the kind of miracles I would do. All right. So you're going to basically increase it. Then click on OK. So then right now, guys. Sorry, why I'm covering my mouth is because I'm using my phone to record the voice. So right now, you're going to go to your trace bitmap on your property bar. Trace bitmap on your property bar. Then check for outline trace. Live at. Then wait for this to load. While it's loading, please do me a favor and share this video. Share it. Don't be stingy. So right now, guys, as you can see, it has loaded. You can basically click on OK. Uh -huh. Then delete this one. Once you delete it, you basically ungroup it on your property. But look at my mouse and stop looking at me. Look at my mouse. Look at it. Ungroup. Then delete this ones that you don't want. Huh? You see? Delete these ones that you don't want. So once you delete it, guys, now you can change the color to anything you want. Anything, you see? Anything. But me, I put the whites. Yes. You know, whites. Leave it on white. Once you leave it on white, guys, remember I still told you guys that the client actually said all this page should have um this logo. So it's look. It won't be on all pages because it depends on, like I told you guys, it depends on the page you're designing and how it's going to look and how it's going to be. All right. So I'm going to just basically paste it here and we'll have it over here. So right now, guys, we're going to place this one here. And right about that, this is what we're going to have. So right now, guys, we have designed the page 11. So we're entering the, the page 12. So the other page will be, uh, we are done with the biography. We're entering the bio, um, the photo gallery so the way i do it is let's think carefully the way i do it is once there's another page that has to do with another thing that what i do is i create a an opening page for it like instead of you to open and just see pictures i will make a design that will introduce that page now, if you open it, you see photo gallery. Now, then when you open, your, your mind is telling you that you're going to photo gallery. Not just opening and see, you're seeing pictures. Now, it can make sense to anybody, but it doesn't make sense to me. I create an introductory page. So, let's create an introductory page before we create photo gallery. But photo gallery is one of the simplest things that even the novice can create. So, that's why I don't want to even start going in there. The main thing that we, that we give us tough time is... Maybe if you're looking at um Ozicor or um, the tributes, you, you understand. But I want to, like I told you guys, I'm stopping at photo gallery. I'm not going into the tribute. So tributes, maybe we'll do that sooner or later, but not now. All right. So I'll stop here for now. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. We want to create the introductory page for the the tree um the the photo gallery, which is actually the, which is actually, I forgot what I was saying. So I click on this and select power clip, place it in here. Then I click again and select edit power clip. 
Okay, which is actually page 12. See? Both H. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically duplicate this, then highlight, um, select this one or highlight it, go to blur, then select Gaussian blur. All right, so once you select Gaussian blur, you're going to basically, uh, yeah, blow it in this stage, 80.3 pixels, click on OK. And you can basically link this one or uh, leave it there if you wish or cut it. Then come over to this and click on finish and you can paste this one here. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically bring in this one. All right, guys, so this is where the work starts. So what we're going to do now is, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this image. All right. I'm going to bring in this image and basically I want to draw this over here. Draw a box just right here and um, basically remove the black stroke. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically scale this one up, those wings, scale this up, scale this up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just drag this one down, bring it to this part, then highlight this and make sure this is aligned here. All right. Then we'll um, drag this one down. All right. Then bring it to this part. Drag this one down again. Bring it to this part. Then I'm going to highlight everything and basically drag this one up this way. And this is basically what we're going to have. So I'm going to just drag this one and place it just right here. And drag this one up. You can use any picture, guys. Any picture of your choice. And I'm going to drag this one and place it just right here. And once I do that, I'm going to basically drag this one here. And leave this one here. So I'm going to bring this one here. And drag this up this way. Then I'm going to put this one here. So this one is having a space there. So we're going to just drag this one. Just put a clip it in there and um, adjust them. That's all. Alright. So this is basically what you are going to have next. So this is basically what you are going to have. So guys... The next thing we're going to do is the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to select this image, everything here. All right. And um, everything. Once I do that, I'm going to group it. Then I'm going to go to bitmap, convert it to bitmap. Then I'm going to go to bitmap again, change it to grayscale. All right. Then I'm going to right click on it and select power date, place it into this frame. Or let's cut it. Paste it here. Then I'm going to select my transparency tool. Fade it out this way. Just fade it out. Once you fade it out, make sure you fade it to the extent that if you're printing it, it will not give you issues. It won't fade out that much. So fade out maybe like 80% to 85%. Depends. All right. Right now, what I'm going to do is I want to bring in this background. Cut it. Bring it here. Place it just right here. I'm going to select my transparency tool. Let's give this one a screen. Okay, screen is not working. So we're going to just basically reduce the opacity this way. And once we do that, we're going to just drag this one down this way. And we're going to leave that to that. So this is basically what you're going to have, guys. So this is what you're gonna basically have. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is I want to bring in this uh, rectangle tool and draw a box just right here. And once I do that, I want to give it. Uh, let's give it this color. Or let's give it this color on uh, this one. All right. So let's let's do. Let's give it this orange or um, yellow, but add a little bit of red to it. Then if you have to add more red to it, just hold Control and the pressing red it will. Do that or you come over to your color terminal over here and um, basically reduce your color all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i will come over to this and copy this and paste it just right here give it a white color don't mind some of you might say i don't want it fainted on the background i don't want it that much i know why all right just give it that cool 
feel. You understand? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this and copy this. Once I do that, I'm going to come over to this, paste it. I'm going to give it a black color. And once I do that, I'm going to basically, uh, basically put my cursor here and press enter. Then press enter over here. All right, guys, so what you're going to do now is you're going to basically break it apart using Control plus K. All right, so once you do that, you're going to basically place this one here, place this here, and place this one just here, and then scale this up this way. And once you do that, you can leave that to that, scale this one, highlight everything here, scale it up, Sorry guys for the delays, I'm actually recording the voice with my phone, that's why, so uh, once you place that here, you're going to just leave that to that. So the next thing you're going to do guys is, uh, we're going to come over to this and copy this, this quote. So if you remember what I told you guys initially, I told you guys, it's not all information that the client will give you, sometimes add your own that makes sense. Like this quote, I just typed in there, that's, I know it will make sense, you know, to make sense. So I'm going to just place it just right here. Once I place it there, I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman. I'm going to give it an it's leaks because it's a quote. But this yellow is kind of so much. So I'm going to add a bit of yellow to it this way. Or oh, let's try this. Let's try this. And I think, okay, let's maintain the yellow. But I think it's much. So I'm going to just basically um, reduce this one this way. All right, that's cool. So, guys, I'm actually designing with um with what's it called CNYK. So, don't be confused. So, I want to add a quote here. So, remember this quotation mark which we were using we were using before this one. So I'm going to copy it and come over to this page and paste it. So, once I paste it, I'm going to bring this one here and give it this red color. Um, once I do that, I'm going to bring another one here and close it. So I want to turn it with, with my mirror tool so that it will be the closing brack, um, closing quote. All right. This is a quotation mark, guys. A father's love is forever imprinted on his child's house. You know, I just added it there that will make sense. So guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this. Once I copy it, I want to cover this one and copy. Okay, let's copy this one that has black on it. Come over to this and paste it. Remember, I told you the client said he wants this logo to be on every page. So right now, guys, this is how we designed this page. Um, page twelve, page twelve, and page eleven. All right. So this is the introductory page to the photo gallery. So the next page will be photo gallery. Photo gallery is basically bringing all the pictures of. Um, for the funeral and put it on like create a box you know but i think i will show you guys in the next video when i'm going to do the presentation so that you guys will understand how to create a photo gallery but this is actually the introductory page to the photo gallery so if you have any question guys please don't forget drop me a comment in the comment section below don't forget please guys i beg you guys in the name of god support my channel by sharing this video all right share my videos comment drop your comments like share all right and see you guys in my next video.